me, Contessa. I am so excited you're here with me in the corner. I have a special guest with me here today, so I wanted to shout out some love to you and let this baby go back wandering around some. So I have a beautiful, my baby, little Tinkerbell. This is a California desert tortoise, and it is out of hibernation, so it's running around and super excited. So if you guys haven't seen one of these babies, I thought I would share all this amazing um, awesomeness this animal has. Check this out. It even has like little feet that look like elephants. I love this baby. Right, so enough of my fun show and tell for our little guest today. Let's move on to the amazing world of crystals. Crystals are super amazing and they're unique and they have this beautiful healing vibe to them. And they work on so, so many things. So I'm super excited. The crystal that kind of has been calling today and has been peeing out this beautiful energy. I can't wait to share this with you. But first, um, you know when you get a gift, it's good to share with everybody. Usually I light my dragon's blood stuff, which um, I got in a mail um, little gift box with, blah, blah, I can't even talk, I'm so excited. Nora sent me some fun cannabis along with my beautiful dragon's blood. So since we're in California and it's almost summertime, we're gonna get out the cannabis, so. <laughs> <laughs> All of you who love this stuff, let's go ahead and enjoy it. <laughs> All right, so. All right, I can feel the energy changing and shifting. I hope you guys can feel all that ease come through. Right, guys, so I am so excited about the crystal today. A lot of you guys have been astral traveling and having a really difficult time maintaining how you're feeling on this plane and being able to travel, really get in that astral realm, and yet do the work that you need, as well as a lot of you are really wanting to work on your sixth sense, really open up that challenge, that channeling stuff that comes through with us because we're all energetic beings. Ah, so I found the best crystal that I could find for this week to really work on some of those challenges that we've been having because you know what? It's not fun when we have challenges and not have the tools in order to complete those challenges. Two beautiful apothelite crystals today. Um, this one you guys have seen before and it's all about like really opening up that clairvoyance, working with, um, you know, your sixth sense, actually opening up to that. I know you guys can feel that energy. So let's ping all that out and really work on, you know, channeling or if you're doing any type of medium work and you've been kind of like saying, hey, what's going on guys? I'm having a little bit of um, almost static in the line. I need this a little bit clearer. So Apothelite is really going to link our third eye and our crown chakra as well as helping us really, really release a lot of dense energy that we don't need anymore. I love the way that that feels. So it's really actually like a safety belt when you're doing any astral travel is it's going to kind of, you know, link and sit with that angelic energy. So what you're doing is, is you're um, linking into that etheric energy body of yourself and apothelite is making sure that you're linking and getting with the correct guides that are of higher vibration and Go better. And take some beautiful deep, deep breaths in. I love it. I love it. So this is a huge transformer stone. It is all about really looking at some of our deep emotional blocks, stuff that we might be burying and not really wanting to deal with like depression or having triggers from PTSD. I know I have a lot of anxiety because I was kidnapped and taken to the wilderness when I was really, really young. So my PTSD happens a lot at time, a lot of times at night. So I love to sleep next to the Apothelite because it's gonna work on your dreams as well as my dreams <laughs> and help give that calming that needs to come in. Right. So then, yes, this new baby is so full of spunk and really exciting and I love the energy it's pinging out. So like I said, um, this is Apothelite, but it does have Stillbite in it. I know it's sending you energy because I can feel it. 
<clears throat> so this is really, really diving deep into this connection of the spiritual world, our, you know, spiritual guides, and also any emotional blocks that we might be having. So if you've been experiencing or feeling any depression, this crystal is really about you owning your truth. Oh, here's the husky. I love it. Um, like I said, this crystal really even brings in your spirit guides. So I know a lot of us work with the angels as well as the animal realm. And animals can be beautiful, beautiful spirit guides for ourselves. But like I said, um, it's going to work on your crown, work on connection with your higher self, your spirit guides, and being able to let go of worry or stress or strain. Um, if you have been, like I said, experiencing depression and you're trying to get help or you're trying to, you know, like get the right emotions going, the pop light is going to kind of still your mind in just enough ways so that you're fighting, so that you know how much you're cared for, right? Can you feel that? I bet you can feel that. I hope you feel all that beautiful love. All right, guys, so this is the Transformer Stone. This guy is just transforming you back into you being kick-ass and amazing. I know it doesn't seem like much, but this crystal energy is really, really awesome about letting you like still be your own best friend and really bringing in you know, that different kind of balance. So if you're a Reiki master or Reiki healer, a Popolite is going to be fabulous to have inside of your healing room as it's really gonna ping out the energy that you need. So a Popolite sometimes gets a little funky wrap because it really lets us see what are we stuck in and our own behavior that kind of needs a little bit of fine tuning. So say you're being kind of an asshole or you're being depressed and that energy isn't really going away. It breaks that emotional um, blocks that we're having and brings in the ability for us to get the help, the soothing, as well as the connections that we need for healthy healing. So I love, love, love how the Apothelite is. It's just so soft and sweet. So I hope you guys enjoy this beautiful crystal energy. I hope that it just fills your aura with so much peace and love. Like I said, there's still by on this crystal here. So um, it's also going to work on your inner, you know, journey. So beautiful connection. All right, guys, I'm going to think this stone. Oh, it feels so good. I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me connecting to the Apothelite crystal, letting go of any blocks that you might have. Please, please drink plenty and tons of water today. The energy of these crystals is going to work so much faster on your aura as well as your environment if you keep that water flowing and going. I have some fun little bit to show you today. All you guys who love Grey's Anatomy, I love, love, love Grey's Anatomy and I ended up being able to go to the VA hospital with my husband because he's a disabled veteran and he needs to be checked up on every now and then. I came out of the elevator and oh my gosh, literally thought I was on a Grey's Anatomy um, episode. So I took a few pictures, I was super psyched, I was so excited. And I sent them to my daughter because I was like, oh my gosh, guess where I'm at? This looks so familiar, like I'm on Grey's. So she emails me, hey mom, what's the address? You know, where are you at? That's, that's the hospital. So I'm like, no way, you know, right? And so she Google Maps it and finds out that we are actually where Grey's Anatomy was being filmed. So I'm like, you know, hyper excited. Hey, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> so when the nurse actually brought us into the room and checked us in, she was laughing at me so hard because she said, yes, in fact, Grey's Anatomy was constantly filmed there and the bridge was there and that we could really see it. So it was really hilarious. And then when I actually looked around the room, lo and behold, I've been doing these live feeds on Facebook and we had been talking about the law of attraction and how to get the law of attraction to really tell us that it's listening. So I threw out into the universe how I would love to see more sunflowers to know that the universe is listening. And 
So a bunch of us on Facebook have been putting and posting our pictures of how, yes, the universe has been working and we have found this wonderful sunflower and it's super cool. So when I'm in the room all excited about being on the gray set, and I know it's silly, but it was super cool. I look up and there was this amazing picture of um, a sunflower field like right behind my husband. And it really felt like the universe was giving me a super huge hug and kiss. It was so cool. What a connection. I love it. So if you have been finding this beautiful law of attraction works for you, if you want to throw out there, where are those sunflowers? Give me a sign. I want to hear in the comments down below what your experience has been like with the law of attraction and really connecting to your higher self for some answers and signs. I love it. And also, if you've got a pop light, I want to hear how it has come into your life and brought all this beautiful wisdom and fun stuff from your spirit guides. Leave those in the comments comments down below. As always, I love my thumbs up. And if you guys feel like sharing, sharing is caring. It feels amazing when you guys share all this energy out to the world. I love you guys. <laughs> Don't forget to find me on Etsy. I've got some beautiful, beautiful crystal crowns that I just made. Some are new and they are fantastic. You can also go to Etsy to get a Reiki healing from me or link on there for any type of angel reading, card reading or crystal reading from me. I love, love, love linking up with you guys like that. So much love. I'll see you guys next Monday. Oh, look at this. Look what the universe did. I am actually on the set of um, the Grey's Anatomy um, Hospital here in Los Angeles. I thought you guys would get a kick out of this.